Hey Brew Maniacs, it's me again, Spank. I thought I would try my hand at yet another video review, vlog, whatever the hell you want to call it. Um, I thought it was a good time to try it, seeing as I've got my Conquest on hand. The rumored to be the single greatest IPA, Imperial IPA, however you want to call it, uh, in the world, Pliny the Elder. I uh, got this from a very nice gentleman out in Washington. He sent it to me through a beer trade. Um, met him through Google Plus, which I call Beer Plus because 95% of my friends on Google Plus are beer drinkers and craft beer drinkers. So there's that. Uh, yeah, if you don't know anything about Plenty the Elder, then you shouldn't be on this blog. So I'm not going to go into much detail as far as to what you're actually going to get with this beer. So, um, yeah, 8%, I believe, is what it is. Most people say that, um, you know, you can't go longer than two months, I think, or six weeks on Pliny um, from there. And uh, in order to, you know, fresh is the best with this beer, as is with a lot of really hoppy beers. So, this one is definitely out of the two-month mark, so I'm excited to see what it smells like, tastes like, all that fun stuff. So, um, I've talked to other people that have had, you know, Dreadnought, Ruination, Hop Slam, all that stuff, and they say that this one is definitely either right there at the top, and if it's not the very top, then it's right, right there, right along there with them. So we'll see, because as most of you know, I very much like Bell's Hop Slam. It's probably my single favorite beer out there. Um, I love hops, obviously, and that's why I love Bell's Hop Slam. So, um, this one is supposed to be right around there, if not better. We'll see. Pour is pretty awesome. It's got good carbonation. It's, it smells pretty awesome. All right. That is amazing. <laughs> yeah. You can tell why that beer gets like an A plus on Beer Advocate and one of the top IPAs on, on Reef Beer. Even though most people on that site are just like you and me that aren't experts by any stretch of the imagination, but we love beer and we love talking about beer and we drink a lot of it, so we like to think we're at least quasi experts in it. And um, with that said, that is a phenomenal beer. Um, it could possibly be the best IPA I've ever had. I'm not going to claim that right now, but it, it could be. It's right up there. ton of pine coming through there. Citrus. It does remind me a lot of Dreadnought. It does. It's got a lot of the same qualities as Dreadnought has with it. Um, not as much as the same as, as Hop Slam, but that's the one beer that I've had that I could compare this to as far as smell, taste, look, feel, all that's very similar. But, uh, yeah, Rush River. Can't get it here in Minnesota. Can't get it in Iowa. Can't get it really anywhere in the Midwest. So you either have to go out to the West Coast or have somebody that you know um, to send you some. And if, uh, if you can do that, do it. Because it's awesome. It's just simply amazing. Um, that's not any news to anybody that's had this or anybody that's heard about it. But I needed to tell you because you needed to know from me, because I think I am an expert, even though I'm not. It's really good, guys. Like, super awesome good. Like, I'm listening to the Black Keys and they're making me happy right now, but this Pliny the Elder makes me like 50 times happier, which is tough to do. So, anyway, find some people on Beer Advocate or Google Plus or wherever you find your beer mates and you know if anybody's out in the west coast or anybody that has access to Russian River uh, beers talk to them get this beer drink it and you will be happy as always thanks for coming to the site I hope you uh, stick around and read some more reviews that we have and don't forget to comment below we love talking to you because you guys are just, mar mo just as much as part of this site as we are so uh, we're all brew in this Thanks a lot. Cheers.